and look down over at your heel like you were, yeah, love that. All right, so a little bit of Studio Boudoir with Model Pair. I will link her Instagram in the description below. Uh, for this shoot, we went with sort of a provocative uh, look with the blazer, and I'll show you some BTS and a few shots from that shoot following my brief introduction here, and it will be brief so we can get right into it. Um, following the BTS, I'll show you how to remove a wardrobe malfunction, which sometimes will happen when you're doing provocative shoots like this. Some things like that will happen and you don't want to leave that uh, in the shot. So oftentimes models will wear cover-ups, things like that, um, to prevent uh, sort of the quote-unquote wardrobe malfunction or at least cover it up. And sometimes they don't wear those. And so that's something that you definitely, you don't want to post that on social media, right? Um, so I'll show you in Photoshop how to very easily and very quickly fix a wardrobe malfunction so if you like this kind of content i'd appreciate if you give me a subscribe give me a like and let's just go ahead and get into it that's lovely So let's fix a wardrobe malfunction. As you can see, got a nice shot. This is model pair. A lot of times the models, when they're wearing something that's a little um, more revealing, um, they'll use these little cover-ups here. And sometimes those will come out in the shot. And you really don't want to leave that in the shot. Sometimes they don't wear them, and then something else comes out in the shot that you probably don't want to leave in the shot either. So how do we fix that? Well... Um, it's not that difficult. I'm going to create a new layer. We'll just do duplicate the background. You could do a blank layer here too with this technique. I'm just going to hit control J, duplicate the background layer. I'm going to grab my quick selection tool. And actually you probably want to do the control J because when you're selecting, if you have a blank layer like that, you use the quick selection tool. I want to select something. You come in here and look, it doesn't work. Why? Why doesn't it work? Well, it's a blank layer. There's nothing in there for it to select, right? So that's a gotcha. So let me delete that blank layer, and I will start over then, and we're going to duplicate the background layer. What's the difference? Um, it's got pixels in it. There's a picture in there, so there's something that it sees to select. And now look at that. I can come in there with a quick selection tool, and it selects it for me. It sees that there's a picture in this layer down here. That's the best explanation I can give. No one taught me that. That's just what I'm thinking. Um, seems to be logical based on what I'm seeing on the screen, right? So the reason we're making this selection is I want to, and it doesn't matter that I got all the way over here in the hair. I'm just going to work on this area right here. Um, and I want to isolate this area off so that whatever I do here, I can paint black or white or whatever if I want to in here it's not going to bleed over outside of this selection right so it contains my edit right here I'm going to use the clone stamp tool 
and we'll do a flow opacity is 100 percent set your flow to about 10 percent real light okay we just really want to finesse this right or left bracket key resizes your your brush if it doesn't work like mine is now so photoshop does this sometimes i'm going to select off the tool and then select it again clone stamp tool now it lets me do it i don't know why it does that if it ever does that to you just go to another tool and come back so now my right and left bracket key is working and I'm, I'm going to get a selection about oh, maybe that size right there. Now I'm using a pen, but you can use a mouse with this too. And really, let me make it kind of small here because we're working in a small area, right? We'll hold down the Alter Option key and grab a sample. Uh, click about right there. And you see that? You see what like loaded in the sample is what I selected right there. So I'm going to start lightly painting and you see that it's as easy as that and if I want to blend maybe that a little bit better I can grab another sample right here kind of paint right there now I'm going to hit control D to deselect and we're done wardrobe malfunction fixed that's all there is to it thanks for watching guys give me a subscribe if you like this kind of content give me a like give me a comment I appreciate all of it you guys have a good one